He who learns must suffer. And even in our sleep pain that cannot forget falls drop by drop upon the heart, and in our own despair, against our will, comes wisdom to us by the awful grace of God. There is no pain so great as the memory of joy in present grief. For there is no defense for a man who, in the excess of his wealth, has kicked the great altar of justice out of sight. Happiness is a choice that requires effort at times. Better to die on your feet than live on your knees. In war, truth is the first casualty. The truth has to be melted out of our stubborn lives by suffering. Nothing speaks the truth, nothing tells us how things really are, nothing forces us to know what we do not want to know except pain. And this is how the gods declared their love. To learn is to be young, however old. For the poison of hatred seated near the heart doubles the burden for the one who suffers the disease. He is burdened with his own sorrow, and groans on seeing another's happiness. When a man takes the road to destruction, the gods help him along. God loves to help him who strives to help himself. Only through suffering do we learn. Wrong must not win by technicalities. wiles and deceit are female qualities. It is in the character of very few men to honor without envy a friend who has prospered. It is best for the wise man not to seem wise. Simple is the speech of truth. Words are the physicians of a mind diseased. Call no man happy till he is dead. I have learned to hate all traitors, and there is no disease that I spit on more than treachery. I would rather be ignorant than knowledgeable of evils. Many among men are they who set high the show of honor, yet break justice. Obstinacy standing alone is the weakest of all things in one whose mind is not possessed by wisdom. Nothing forces us to know what we do not want to know except pain. memory is the mother of all wisdom. Wisdom comes through suffering, trouble, with its memories of pain, drips in our hearts as we try to sleep. So men against their will, learn to practice moderation, favors come to us from gods. The man who boldly transgresses, Amassing a great heap unjustly, by force, in time, he will strike his sail, when trouble seizes him as the yardarm is splintered. He calls on those who hear nothing and he struggles in the midst of the whirling waters. The god laughs at the hot-headed man, seeing him, who boasted that this would never happen, exhausted by distress without remedy and unable to surmount the cresting wave. He wrecks the happiness of his earlier life on the reef of justice, and he perishes unwept, unseen. My will is mine. I shall not make it soft for you. 
The one knowing what is profitable, and not the man knowing many things, is wise. From a small seed a mighty trunk may grow. Few men have the natural strength to honor a friend's success without envy. It is the nature of mortals to kick a fallen man. Only one accomplishment is beyond both the power and the mercy of the gods. They cannot make the past as though it had never been. It is not the oath that makes us believe the man, but the man the oath. The future you shall know when it has come. Before then, forget it. Justice inclines her scales so that wisdom comes at the price of suffering. Time brings all things to pass. The reward of pain is experience. Know not to revere human things too much. Don't try to make intelligent decisions when your brain is hyped. The wisest of the wise may err. Fear is stronger than arms. Do not kick against the pricks. Remember to be submissive. Thou art an alien, a fugitive, and in need. The anvil of justice is planted firm, and fate who makes the sword does the forging in advance. God always strives together with those who strive. There is no sickness worse for me than words that to be kind must lie. Whoever is just willingly and without compulsion will not lack happiness, he will never be utterly destroyed. It is an easy thing for one whose foot is on the outside of calamity to give advice and to rebuke the sufferer. Base men who prosper are unenviable. God's most lordly gift to man is decency of mind. Married love between man and woman is bigger than oaths guarded by right of nature. The holy heaven yearns to wound the earth and yearning layeth hold on the earth to join in wedlock. The rain, fallen from the amorous heaven, impregnates the earth, and it bringeth forth for mankind the food of flocks and herds and Demeter's gifts, and from that moist marriage rite the woods put on their bloom.